We're blessed again today to hear reflections from members of our community, beginning with Greg Rowe, who will introduce the Malchuyot section of the Musaf Amidah. Wonder. I felt wonder when I listened to the great jazz pianist Thelonious Monk. Not the first time, not the second, maybe not even the third, because listening to Monk is hard, especially at first. Thelonious Monk is known for his unique playing style, especially by his use of dissonance, musical notes that just don't seem to go together. Some of the notes he played with his left hand do not, at first blush, blend, complement, or amplify the notes he played with his right. It didn't matter what the song was, Round Midnight, Straight No Chaser, Mysterioso, or countless others. This kind of jazz was different, seemingly weird and hard to listen to. Yet after listening a few times and reading the assigned portion of the college text, it started to make sense. As one reviewer put it, Monk was able to coax a sense of normalcy out of the inherent dissonance of notes. Or as another said, his dissonant notes make sense because they sound wrong in a meaningful way. It started to make sense. It was magical. It was no longer meaningless dissonance. What at first seemed like sounds that could not work together, could not complement each other, or that could not exist in the same space, instead became sounds that worked brilliantly with each other. Wonder and amazement. Imagine in this new year, if the sounds of dissonance from the extremes on every side of every aisle or from every social media platform, sounds that are presently the very opposite of wonder and harmony, sounds that really are not normal, began to change, began to work together, began to amplify each other. Imagine in this new year, the meaningless if, imagine if in this new year, the meaningless dissonance that consumes our world transformed to something much more meaningful. That would cause us all to feel a great sense of wonder. Turn on to that. 